My Suzuki Bandit 1200 right here has a Danmoto brand GP style exhaust installed and it's been on the bike for about two seasons now. I'm really pleased with it. I really like the sound um, and it did allow me to uh, tune up the bike a little bit more so I've got some horsepower. Now I wanted to make a video and share with everybody what this exhaust sounds like. There are other videos online but what I found was people would use their phone or something inside the garage which of course sounds really loud and echoey, you don't get a good recording, and of course the exhaust sounds more loud than it really is. Uh, and then there were other people that would be out on the road and the bike is riding by. That's helpful, but then the, the microphone or whatever they're using is too far away from the bike, so you don't get a really accurate idea of what it sounds like. So here's what I have going on to solve this problem and help somebody else out. I have a Zoom H4n uh, field recorder mounted on top of my camera. Now that recorder records stereo sign, sound and uh, high quality. So what I'll do is uh, I'll get the bike outside and I'll have the camera set out in the driveway and the uh, microphone will be close enough to the bike but not too close. We may get a little echo off the garage door but in general I think you'll get a much better idea of, of what this exhaust sounds like on the Bandit 1200. And with that, I guess I should get the garage door open and uh, get to work. It's getting kind of dark out there, so we need to speed it up. have it that is the GP style Danmoto exhaust on a Suzuki Bandit GSF 1200S and uh, I got it revved up pretty high there so keep in mind my, my sound recorder will adjust the volume depending on how loud uh, the ambient noise is so you, you might have noticed the volume go down even though the revs picked up and I rev it up to um, Oh, five or six thousand RPM at some point there, but I was holding up my hand uh, to let everybody know that you know I was at two thousand RPM or three thousand and four thousand, so you could have a good idea of, of what what this exhaust sounds like at those uh, RPMs. Um, I wanted to point out that uh, the screws that come with the exhaust here, uh, I lost those right away. I actually thought somebody stole them because they'd be really easy to slip off, and so then I bought some new ones. I believe they're uh, sixty millimeters long. So you could get those from a power sports store for exhaust applications. And then I lost those. And then I grabbed this chintzy cheap bigger spring here. It came from a, a door or something. 
um, and I put that on, that held up, but I only had one, so I'm missing one spring. So I wanted to uh, mention, when you get your springs, they really need to have a rubber, a rubber sleeve around the spring that keeps it from vibrating too much. And you might want to do a, a wire job, some little wire or something, so even if it did come off, you'd still have them. Uh, so just keep, keep that in mind, be ready for that. And the last thing, there's no baffle in here. This is the baffle right here, which you have to purchase separately. Um, I live in a suburban area, so I was worried that uh, the sound would be too loud. And so I purchased the baffle, and really I didn't need it. But I, I wanted to mention that uh, this baffle, it slips into the end here. It installs in before you put the exhaust on. What I did with my baffle, once I realized how quiet this exhaust was, I actually cut half of the outer sleeve of the, the baffle away to allow more exhaust to escape so I could keep the engine tuned up a little bit. And I ran it like that for a little while, that's why it's black. Uh, and then I realized that I didn't need it at all. So I pulled the whole thing out. I haven't had it in since. My neighbors say that the bike's not that loud. It helps that I don't rev it, rev it up that high very often. But uh, anyway, just things to keep in mind, baffle, springs. But the exhaust itself, quality's really good. I'm really surprised at the cost. It, it's phenomenal. And uh, it, it ships from China or something like that. And uh, I got it really quickly also. Now I'm in Alaska and a lot of products ship into Alaska first before they go to the load 48. So I had my exhaust in like a week later. It's pretty quick coming from China. Uh, you may have to wait a little bit longer, but uh, I think you're gonna be happy with it. And it was really easy installation. So with that, I will let you go. If this helped you out, definitely click like on the video. And uh, I will have a couple more things coming up soon about the front end of the bike. I'm working on that for customizing um, and some other things that I have going on, tuning, and then uh, another motorcycle project that's, that's in the works and basically about wrapped up. So if you want to, subscribe, then you will see those videos right away when I publish them. But until then, take care. Thanks for watching.